All right, so the Rams sent second round 2020 pick Van Jefferson to the Atlanta Falcons today in a trade uh, that will only swap 2025 picks. I don't know why Lesney is obsessed with this, but uh, he is um, the sixth and seventh rounders. So the Rams are going to get a sixth and the Falcons will get a seventh. Um, I, I got to tell you, you know, Van Jefferson in 2021 had 50 catches uh, for over 800 yards and six touchdowns. Um, wasn't even really the fourth option. I mean, you talk about all the guys that were in that room, you know, Cooper Cup and Robert Woods going out and getting Odell Beckham Jr., Tyler Higby. Um, I, I I really don't like this move, and I'm just going to just put it out there right now, the reason why I don't like it. Um, Van Jefferson, no secret, didn't end up being the receiver we were hoping he was going to be, and he was not having the year we were hoping he was going to have. Eight catches for 108 yards on the season, including a 46-yard grab. Um, but he has 101 catches, almost 1,500 yards for his career, 10 touchdowns. Uh, he averages 14.8 yards per reception. I think at the end of the day, the Rams really botched this, and here's why. I understand you want to go and you want to help this guy out. You want to you, you know, get him an opportunity in a contract year, but you have to look at it in terms of the football team and how, how does this help the football team at all? Uh, he's 27 years old. You're probably going to get something going, um, you know, with like someone's going to sign him and you'll get some compensatory pick for next year. Instead, you're not going to get anything for next year. Um, this is going to be 2025 and it's a late round pick. You spend a second round pick on him and to get a late round pick swap, just like Cam Akers after, you know, the end of the season he had last year. And then now Van Jefferson, it, it's not really great. I think it's just the Rams kind of admitting defeat here. It's, they're waving the white flag on the 2019 draft class. Um, it, it's not great guys. I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm not really impressed uh, with the way that they kind of went about this 2019 draft. Um, you know, I think Van Jefferson right now, I understand the fits not really there as far as getting in the starting lineup. You got two, two out playing 50 reps uh, this past week. Um, you know, Cooper cup and Puka Nakua are your main starters and two, two out was so far behind uh, so far beyond Van Jefferson uh, because Van Jefferson only had two snaps. Austin Trammell had a snap and Bryce, um, excuse me, uh, Ben Skoranek had six snaps in this latest game. So I understand he was kind of falling out of favor, but this is still a good receiver and he's a damn good fourth receiver to have. And when you have a receiving group that first off Cooper cup hadn't played since the middle of last year, he's been hurt quite a bit. Um, and he got hurt. He re-aggravated his hamstring. So we don't know if that's like not going to be like, it's not a guarantee he's going to be healthy the full season. Then you got Puka Nakua who was banged up with the oblique. And then you have Tutu Atwell who missed his entire rookie season, um, almost his entire rookie season with an injury. These guys have had injury concerns in the past and to just get rid of wide receiver depth on a team that I think honestly can make a run in the playoffs just doesn't seem like the best move, but especially doesn't seem like a good move if all you're doing is bringing in a sixth rounder in 2025. So to me, I don't like that. However, I do think this bodes well for a guy like Ben Skoranek, who once again is just continuing to show that he's sticking around and they really like him. And I think this speaks a lot to Ben Skoranek and how he's kind of getting a promotion here as a wide receiver for Austin Trammell, uh, who's become a pretty solid returner in his own right, but also got a snap on the offense last week and could mean that Tyler Johnson's going to come off of practice squad um, now because, you know, he's played in the playoffs. He was targeted by Tom Brady in the playoffs. So um, this is an opportunity for him. But I think this is also a solid opportunity for Van Jefferson. I don't love the fit in Atlanta personally. They're just not throwing the ball enough. Although, you know, to be fair, they are coming off of Desmond Ritter's arguably his best performance of his career. Um, you know, he threw over 300 yards, which is a surprise. So maybe they are starting to throw it a little bit. Maybe this is the emphasis on that. That's why they went out and got Van. But I understand it a little bit for the Falcons. I don't really get it for the Rams unless there's a bigger move coming. You have the money that you got. 
saved with Cam Akers. I don't know how much money this is going to save. I don't know if it's a million. I don't know. Um, but what I do know is that he was drafted in the same round as Cam Akers not long after him. And uh, it, it could be a million. And if that's the case, if that decides, okay, this this freed up enough space to go out and get a star pass rusher, then okay, fine. Um, but I think, you know, you're getting a good receiver here, uh, you know, with the Atlanta Falcons, good route runner, a guy that can help you uh, as, a, as a run blocker, as well as a guy that can stretch the field. And I think he's a little too valuable to just give up. Um, I understand it doesn't seem that way right now, but God forbid if this weekend Cooper Cup goes down again or a Puka Nakua is out, has to go on IR or 2 2 Atwell. I like Ben Skoranek, but you would much rather have Van Jefferson, um, somebody who I was expecting to have a really good season and somebody who has had, uh, you know, some success in the past. I, I think really what it comes down to is this um, this just feels like a Madden move to me. You know, at the end of the day, this just feels like a Madden move where, um, you know, you're playing Madden in, you know, franchise mode and a guy just kind of overwhelms and takes over as the third or the second option. And what you find out is, OK, well, it's Madden, It's a video game. I don't really need a, a fifth receiver anymore. I don't need a sixth receiver anymore. Um, so you trade him away. But in reality, that's depth. And when you're playing, you know, this is week five. You know, it's fair to say that maybe sometime down the road, you might need Van Jefferson. Um, again, I understand recency bias, you know, looms large here, and I think it, it's a big reason. Um, and I don't know what was said. I, I haven't heard anything that Van Jefferson, you know, demanded a trade like Cam, but uh, I can't imagine he felt too good about getting two snaps uh, this past week. Um, so we'll see what ends up happening um, because I do think a bigger trade looms. I, I think they're going to make a bigger move. But I'm just not really a big fan of getting rid of, um, you know, depth here at a position where you have a bunch of guys who have suffered injuries in the past, including Ben Skoranek. And I mean, Van Jefferson has as well. But um, you, you want to have that. You definitely want to have that depth. And if you're a team that's really competing and going for it, that this is like being four deep is not a bad thing. Um so unless, you know, he demanded it, I don't really understand it in that sense. I also don't understand it because I understand, you know, this season isn't going the way he wanted it to. And there's a chance he's going to finish, you know, really low on the receiving yards and touchdowns and all that. But keep this in mind. You were at least going to get a compensatory pick at the worst. You were going to get a seventh rounder or a sixth rounder in 2024. Now you, you settle for a pick swap in 2025 and you keep setting this precedent to just like, oh, just call up the Rams. They'll do a pick swap in two years from now. I don't really get that rationale. Love Sneed. I think he's done a great job. This draft was awesome. Um, you know, going out and getting a Kello Witherspoon was fantastic. Going out and getting Deuce Shelley was fantastic. But uh, it's like this move, I, I don't get it. I understand Cam Akers. They made it very obvious Cam Akers was getting traded. There was no option. He wasn't coming back. Van Jefferson, we didn't hear anything like that. He didn't sit out on this team. He wasn't called out. Um, so I don't really get it, but I'm sure more information will come out. I'm curious what you guys think. Do you agree with this? Do you not agree with this? Do you agree with my points? Uh, I'm, I'm just curious because right now I got, I, I don't really have mixed feelings. I just think this is not a good move. Um, and, and there's no reason why, in my opinion, you know, Rams fans are going to feel good about this because, you know, okay, Van Jefferson, I, I like the guy a lot. Like, I, I honestly, I feel happy for him that he'll get some opportunity there, hopefully, but I, there's no way this should make a Rams fan feel good because there's nothing about this where the Rams win. They get a sixth round pick instead of a seventh rounder, which by the way, once again, pick swaps, they're not getting an additional pick. They're swapping picks. So they're, they're giving up their seventh, getting another sixth late in the 2025 draft. I don't get it. Um, I, I don't think there's any reason to feel good about that. And so those are my thoughts, but I'm curious what you guys think. What do you, what do you think? I mean, was this a good move? I mean, personally, I don't think it is. Uh, I will say to any Benny Sko fans out there, he just got a pretty big promotion. He's going to be the wide receiver for moving forward uh, officially. And, uh, you know, I got to say, shout out to Austin Trammell. He stuck with it. This is why you battle. This is why you go through what you go through in preseason. Um, he stuck around. You know, we talked about Lance McCutcheon all the time last year. 
But this is why, you know, Austin Tramble still on the team, played great special teams. He's become a returner, and now he's going to move on to that wide receiver five or wide receiver six spot. But either way, I think he's a lock uh, to stay on this roster um, now with this trade. It does open up a spot. We'll see what happens. I know the injury to Bobby Brown also will open up a spot. He'll go on IR. He's out for five to seven weeks. So um, two spots now open for the Rams. One of them I'd imagine will be Tyler Johnson, but we'll see. I wouldn't mind even if they uh, considered going out and getting Miko Hardman from the Jets. I actually would have liked that swap a little bit more. Um, but at the same time, that contract is really what you worry about. So I don't know, but we'll see. Let me know in the comments section. I'm Jake Allenbogen. You guys take care. Later, folks.